Good afternoon, everyone. I'm George Martirano here presenting another fourth world segment. Well, it stopped raining. We're outside and in my neighborhood, which I love. Now, what is behind me is a large trash bin. Okay? Now, today we're going to talk about the mold men. Okay? I wrote about it in previous weeks. The mold men were these guys who needed a few extra bucks in prison. And the prison that I was at, this particular prison in Atlanta, had a huge trash bin just like this. But this trash bin, not like this, it had a steel compressor. In other words, the steel would push the trash back and compact it. Okay, also, it had a door. It had a door that you can get in there. So, uh, you know, we'd be working the loading dock, it'd be in the evening, just prisoners around, and then the mold men would show up. Uh, the reason we called them mold men because they actually would open this steel door, okay, and crawl in there with uh, the slop. Now, what, what was the reason they were doing these, the mold men? They did this because in prison they what you call hot trash. In other words, it's trash confiscated from prisoners. And they're tied off in these special plastic bags and they're, they're taken to this trash bin during four o'clock count. In other words, all the prisoners are locked in and the hot trash is moved to the bin, okay? It is thrown in there and they hit the compacts, the compressor, and it would be moved forward. So these mole men through the prison grapevine would find out and they would actually sneak in there. They would, they, they would crawl around and these guys knew how to crawl around right in front of the steel thing, compressing because by law it cannot go back to the very end. It has to stop a few feet. And they would crawl in there. Now imagine the nights that we have, 2,000 guys had stew, and they emptying these big pots, these large pots of stew, and with other trash. And these guys would crawl in there, and they would come out with stew all over, pieces of carrots, potatoes, and they would get the hot trash. And then the hot trash was items that you could not get. They were like real nice shoes, real nice sneakers, uh, shirts, uh, phones, watches. You gotta understand the Bureau of Prisons. It's a very big, wealthy machine, and they don't keep none of that stuff. They tie it off in these hot trash bags, and they dispose of it. But not all the times, because the mold men would cut this stuff off with the pass. I actually seen these guys come out on a spaghetti night. Imagine that, spaghetti night. They would come out red with gravy, red gravy, and they would come out with uh, spaghetti hanging off of them. And, and it, it was quite dangerous. You gotta understand, it was this big steel thing with this, uh, this cylinder going and pushing and pushing back. And now the question is, why did they do it? Well, you know, ladies and gentlemen out there, you got to understand, prison has its addictions. There's alcoholism, there's drug addiction, and there's gambling. These mole men probably had all three. They needed money. They needed money for the alcohol, the drugs, and the gambling. And, you know, the ingenuity, the ingenuity with these prisoners create, like the mole men finding out where this hot trash, and the only way to get it was in that type of setting. They couldn't get it from the lieutenant's office or the cart, the lock cart transporting it to the bed. They had to get in there with all that slop and dress themselves. So I, it's another story I want to share from the fourth world, which is a river of stories. I hope you enjoy them. Stay with me in the future to see many more. Goodbye, I'm George Martirano.